few weeks back, when Llama 3.3 was released, a known developer on X had released a new app builder focused on the model itself called Llama Coder, which was capable of building interactive applications that were quite powerful. This app is completely open source, which is where another developer off of X named Omar forked the application and made it into a Gemini coder, which is completely free and open source and it's an application builder that you can install locally or on the web. Now it's super fast like Rock, where you can create apps in seconds with just a single prompt. The best part is you can use the Gemini 2.0 flash model with it, which is great as this new Gemini 2.0 flash model is a powerful model in terms of coding based tasks and it can greatly help you in terms of debugging and executing code completion. You can access the Gemini coder on Hugging Face Spaces, but at the moment, I feel like there is a lot of people using this because he did drop a tweet to it, and it does seem to have a lot of influx of users at the moment, which is why it is best if you are to locally install this, which is what we're gonna be doing in the next step. To install this locally, you're gonna need to make sure that you have Git installed. This is gonna be helping us own the repository onto our desktop. You'll need to make sure that you also have node.js and also a functional uh, Gemini API key. So once you have all these things fulfilled, what we can do is go back into the GitHub repository. You can scroll all the way to the top, click on this green button and click on copy this link to clipboard. Once that is done, go ahead and open up command prompt and type in git clone and then paste in the link and click enter. This will start cloning this repository locally onto our desktop. And what we're gonna be needing to do is set our API key and our environment file. So what you'll need to do is open up an IDE or a text editor, and you can simply go ahead and open up something like Visual Studio Code. In this case, I've opened this up. I'm gonna click on the window, and we're gonna go ahead and find a directory that we just cloned, which is Gemini Coder. So I've opened this up, and what you're gonna need to do right away is go ahead and click on, right click on this left-hand panel, click on new file, and just simply name it .env, and click enter. Now, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to now set your API key. And this is where you're gonna need to go ahead and you're gonna need to add your Google AI Studio API key. And this is by simply copying this first section, which is the Google AI underscore API key. Uh, we're gonna paste this in and then we're gonna paste in our API key. After you have placed in your API key, make sure you click on file and click on save and then you can close VS Code. Now go back into the repo, copy the npm install command, and you're gonna need to now go into the Gemini Coder folder. That's by simply typing in cd Gemini Coder, and then click enter, and then paste in the npm install command, which is gonna start installing all the necessary packages. This will take a couple of seconds, but in the meantime, what you can do is go ahead and copy the run dev command, which is gonna run the application locally on our local host. And this is by simply going ahead and pasting in this link and you can see it's going to start off in our local host. So go ahead, copy this link, and then you can start accessing it on our local host, which will take a couple of seconds to fully load up and start building. And there we go. We have our Gemini Coder app fully available locally. This is the interface of Gemini Coder. You have the ability to select all of these three models, the Gemini 1.5 Pro, Flash, as well as the 2.0 Flash experimental model. You can also have it so that it uses the Shadsy and packages, which is quite vital to make appealing front-end designs. But now let's go ahead and request it to build something. Can you create a basic e-com site that sells glasses? So let's send in this prompt and we're gonna go ahead and click this. You can see on the left hand side, it's gonna be coding out all the components for your app and you're gonna be able to visualize it on the right hand side. And you can see it uses the ShadCN packages and it created a beautiful front end store. And say if you wanna see how this glasses store looks, you can actually open it within another link and you can see this is another sandbox in which you're gonna be able to visualize how this looks. So you can see right now, it opened it up on Code Sandbox, and this was the app that it was capable of creating. You can obviously uh, go ahead and edit the components within this sandbox, and you can even share this link around so that other people can access it. And remember, this is all completely for free. Now, let's provide it something pretty broad. I'm asking it to create a CRM application. Let's 
enable Shatzian UI and it's going to go ahead and build this out. It should take a couple seconds, but what you can also do is you can have the Gemini coder work on iterating on more versions. So if there's something that you don't like, you can go back into the chats app and you can request it to build further on to this application that it worked on. So in this case, you can see that it built a really basic CRM where you can add context like name, email, phone number, company, and you can see uh, the status of who this is. So this is a really basic CRM, but now we can even request it to make it better. So I'm gonna request it to add more functions to this. So it's gonna take the first iteration and it's gonna build on top of it. And within a couple of seconds, we should have a more refined CRM application. And just look at that. From the first design, this looks definitely a, a lot better. You have a list of different people within your CRM apps, with their, which are all the contexts. You can add a context. This is a more refined uh, pop-up in which you can add all these details. And then you can go ahead and simply add it. You can even delete. So it's a lot of different new functions that make this application even better. What's cool is that all the actions that are being executed in terms of the prompting that you send in, as well as the prompting that's sent to the AI to create that application is shown within your terminal. So if you're wanting to see what is happening in the back end, you can take a look at your terminal to see all the executions. So in this case, I created this calculator app and it was able to showcase the prompt that it used to create that app in this case. Now, if you're interested in saving the code or downloading it, you can go over to Code Sandbox. And to do so, if you are to go back into the Gemini Coder, you can click on this button, which says Open Sandbox. And if you are to install, or if you are wanting to install something, right click on a package and just simply click on Download. But that's essentially a gist of what we're capable of doing with this application builder locally. This is something that is super fast and easy to use and it's open source and there's actually a couple of other demos that omar is showcasing within his tweet which introduces gemini coder he basically built this hugging face clone uh, using a an angry emoji uh, he was also able to build a lot of simple types of applications with it so if you're interested definitely take a look at it and you can easily get started with this right away and if you're interested in trying this out on Hugging Face Spaces, you can actually create your own spaces by forking this so you can try it out on the web as well. But that's basically a gist of today's video, guys. This is a beautiful application builder that you can get started with right away. With the Gemini 2.0 Flash model, we've actually showcased the capabilities of this model many times on the channel. So I definitely recommend that you try it out and take a look at it with the link in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on the Patreon so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news, as well as gaining access to the latest AI subscriptions. Follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.